Right, I'm just doing a little video because it's been requested a few times of some of the tools I'm using. So this is just what I'm going to use for today. Um, this is just a gap I'm doing in a in a field for a farmer. Um, so things might vary on job to job, but all I'm going to use is a shovel, a pickaxe, spade. Then we've got Northern Star Walling Hammer. Might be called something different in different countries, but that's what we call it. A French Star Walling Hammer, tape measure and a couple of string lines. So I'll do little videos of each thing on what I'm using them for. Um, and then, you know, just give people an idea. Obviously people that do it full time, will, they have different things that they use. But for anyone who's sort of trying to learn, this is a good basic setup if you're just repairing gaps and stuff. I'll, uh, I'll also provide some links to um, products that are perfectly good enough um, to use for, uh, for doing this sort of work. I've just realized rubber buckets as well we do use rubber buckets for collecting your fill because if you pile it on the floor it's a pain if you put it in buckets like this you can drag it to where you need it put it in no problem speeds the job up especially if you're on a square meter rate so this is where we're going to bring the spade shovel and pick into play um all we're going to do now is we're going to dig out some of this bulk here and then we're going to put a line on the wall to get our footings width and then we'll dig them exact because there's no point in just digging everything out because you, you might be digging out stuff you don't need to but if we get the bulk of this rubbish off here so we're down to a good ground level then we'll put lines on and see where we're at is the use of the line so we've set our width at the bottom so now what we're going to do is put our footings in make sure there's some deep ones there where it goes down but it is all down to clay and then as we go up the wall we'll set lines further in further in until we get to the top so that's what we are using the lines for you can build walls without lines by the way i just like to use them 95 percent of the time because you get a better finish i believe you might not but there we go um, and cover the tape measure quickly so tape measure all i'm using it for is to measure my length of my wall and my height and also the width so between my lines yeah um i'd say that's probably one of the most essential bits of kit for me uh, if you're doing something you know you can live without it but that's uh, it's one of them things so this is a french style walling hammer I think I got it from Landmark Walling, I can't remember. I'll, I'll try find a link anyway and leave that to it. But this is really good for making top stones, if you're making field tops and stuff, because it got a right good swing on it. If you're just sort of uh, using it here, you know, you can really take chunks out. Whereas with Little and you sort of, you sort of have to put a lot more effort into it for that. But that is good, that one's good for making fill and for knocking bits off, you know, like, uh, so uh, this edge here that I've taken off, I take that off, you know it blade there, so if I'm taking some off here, you know, here, really obliterates it, whereas that one might take a bit more work, I mean to be fair that is a bit blunt as well, but you can see what I mean there between the two. Um, I have them both on site every day, I usually have them both laying around, they are painted pink or purple as you can see, that is purely so that if you lose them, you can find them, because I lose a lot of hammers in the mud and I uh, probably spend over, well, I don't know, a lot anyway on lost hammers. So there we are, that's them two. Good bit of kit. They're about 25 quid off Amazon, $30 or something. Like and I think, they're, I think they're about 50 or 70 quid. I'm not sure, but you'll have to check. So I'm gonna leave this video here. Um, that's just the kit I'll use for walling, uh, just field walls like this. I have got other kit for other jobs, but um, it was just requested, so I thought I'd do a little video on it. And like I say, I'll leave some links in the descriptions for the tools that I am using. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.